AWS Identity and Access Management, IAM, now enables workloads that run outside of AWS to access AWS resources using IAM Roles Anywhere. IAM Roles Anywhere allows servers, containers, and applications to use X.509 digital certificates to obtain temporary AWS credentials for the same IAM roles and policies that you normally have configured for your AWS workloads. With IAM Roles Anywhere, you can easily use temporary credentials for access to AWS APIs, eliminating the need to manage permanent credentials for workloads running outside of AWS. This improves your security posture and reduces operational complexity by allowing you to use the same access controls, deployment pipelines, and testing processes across all of your workloads. You can get started by establishing trust between your AWS environment and your public key infrastructure. A trust anchor in AWS IAM allows you to connect your AWS Certificate Manager, Private Certificate Authority, or register your own Certificate Authorities with IAM roles anywhere. By adding one or more roles to a profile and enabling IAM roles anywhere to assume these roles, your applications can now use the client certificates issued by your CAs to make secure requests to AWS and get temporary credentials to access the AWS environment. IAM Roles Anywhere is available in most commercial regions at no additional cost. Please see the documentation for more information on supported regions. When using ACM Private Certificate Authority, standard pricing will apply. If you have an on-premise workload that requires access to AWS through the API or CLI, it would use an AWS IAM user principal with long-term credentials or it would use SAML to get temporary credentials for an AWS IAM role. Temporary credentials are better because they expire, but refreshing them can sometimes be a challenge depending on how the workload authenticates to the identity provider and how the SAML request is sent and processed. IAM Roles Anywhere makes runtime authorization simpler by exchanging an X.509 certificate for temporary credentials. You can set the expiration of those credentials on the fly. Using IAM Roles Anywhere does require some initial setup to establish the trust and to install the X.509 certificate on the eligible server. While IAM Roles Anywhere can be used to grant API access to users or automated processes, it is best used for secure on-premise servers that require ongoing access to AWS environments. Remember, the X509 certificate is a credential and should be stored and accessed securely. IAM Roles Anywhere requires some setup in the IAM console. To get there, we will go to the IAM console, select Roles, and then scroll to the bottom and click on the Manage button in the IAM Roles Anywhere section. Note that in the Roles Anywhere console, there is a Setup Step section that guides you through the setup process. The resources required for this demo have been created in advance, so we will move on with just a summary. In the IAM Roles Anywhere console, you will see two sections, Trust Anchors and Profiles. A trust anchor refers to the trust relationship between Roles Anywhere and your certificate authority. Certificates are used to authenticate against the trust anchor to obtain credentials for an IAM role. Profiles are predefined sets of permissions that are applied after successfully authenticating with roles anywhere. If we select Create Trust Anchor, you will see that we need to give it a name, select the certificate authority, and optionally apply any tags to the resource. For the purposes of this demo, I have already created a trust anchor using a private certificate authority already set up in my environment. Once the trust anchor is created, you can always go back and change the name, CA, or tags as needed. Note that if you change the CA, you will have to reissue any certificates already deployed to the clients using IAM roles anywhere with the old CA. Now let's take a look at profiles. A profile consists of a name, one or more roles, and optionally session policies or tags. Session policies act like boundaries. They limit the permissions granted to the role's attached policies and are assigned to the role session when the role is assumed. 
we will not be using this for this demo. Again, any of the settings in an existing profile can be changed later. Finally, let's have a quick look at a role used in IAM Roles Anywhere. A role used in IAM Roles Anywhere is like any other IAM role. This role only has one inline policy allowing it to write to a specific S3 bucket. But let's look at the trust relationship policy. A role will not show up as available in IAM Roles Anywhere console unless the trust relationship policy includes the Roles Anywhere service principle. To enhance security, note that there are new policy conditions that will allow you to restrict this trust by specifying fields in the CA root certificate like the name or organization. We will not be using that for this demo. Please note that while IAM roles are global resources, IAM roles anywhere profiles and trust anchors are regional. However, this only affects the request for credentials and has no bearing on the permissions once credentials are issued. The permissions associated with the credentials are set by the policies attached to the role and any managed or inline policies on the IAM Roles Anywhere profile. Now that we've reviewed the setup, let's take a look at IAM Roles Anywhere in action. To obtain temporary security credentials from IAM Roles Anywhere, use the Credential Helper tool that IAM Roles Anywhere provides. The Credential Helper manages the process of creating a signature with the certificate and calling the endpoint. More information as well as downloads for Linux, Windows, and Darwin are on the Credential Helper webpage. You can find the link in the description for this video. To use IAM Roles Anywhere from a client system outside of AWS, the client should already have an X.509 certificate and associated private key stored locally. Encrypted private keys are not supported, so you will have to decrypt the key using OpenSSL or similar technology before requesting credentials through Credential Helper. Other information you will need before requesting credentials are the Amazon resource names, or ARNs, for the trust anchor, profile, and IAM role for which you want temporary credentials. The Credential Helper tool's actual file name is AWS Signing Helper. To get our credentials, we will invoke that and pass the ARNs and certificate file names as parameters. As you can see, the Credential Helper returns the credentials in a standard JSON format. For the purposes of this demo, I will put these credentials in local environment variables to make them available to the AWS CLI. Note that these credentials can also be used for any AWS SDK language API as well as any AWS REST API request. Now that the credentials are set, we can start using the CLI. For this demo, the role we set up only has the permission to put a file to S3. As evidence, I will attempt to execute a list buckets command. And as expected, we get an access denied, because the role we were using only has permissions to write to a particular bucket. However, if we go ahead and put a file with the put object command, the permissions assigned to the role will allow a successful execution. To learn more about IAM Roles Anywhere, visit the user guide. To see a step-by-step -step walkthrough of how to configure IAM Roles Anywhere, see the blog post. Both of these and other helpful links can be found in the description of this video. Thank you for taking the time to watch and have a great day.